Welcome to our thought for today, for today, Wednesday the 22nd of February. Today we're looking um, at that portion of scripture from Genesis 18 and 19 um, and the judgment uh, and the destruction, therefore, of Sodom and Gomorrah. When we think about God's judgment, what do we think? For some, it's casually dismissed uh, as a myth or something that just isn't going to happen. Uh, and so why worry? Live your life as you please, to please yourself. For others, the judgment is something that may happen, but not for a long time. So again, why worry about today? Uh, put it off. Think about it another day. Live your life to please yourself. For others, the judgment will happen, and it's a cause for great worry. How will the judgment be survived? Are we all doomed? Well, the point is, judgment is, is God's word to us. He has told us it will happen. And equally, he has shown us how we can be ready, how we can survive God's judgment, come through his judgment and live with him for all eternity. We'll come back to that in a moment. But first we see God's judgment here in Genesis 18 and 19. Uh, when it comes to the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. And there are three aspects to that. Firstly, in chapter 18, verses 22 to 33, uh, we see the Lord's mercy. Uh, the judgment has been declared in verse 20. There is sin that is so great, and their sin is known. But Abraham pleads to the Lord again and again, what if there be someone who is righteous among them? Will you destroy or will you relent? In his mercy, God is patient. He listens to the pleas of his servant, Abraham. Secondly, we see the Lord's grace rescuing Lot and his family from Sodom. The wickedness is clear uh, as the messengers who come to speak with Lot, are sought out by the men of Sodom. They seek them for intimate relationships where men will lie with men. The time has come. Judgment must fall. But Lot must be rescued. And so they are led out of the city. With the important instruction, do not look back. The Lord in his grace rescues but knowing God's grace for Lot means not, they should not have no thought of looking back to their former life in Sodom. And therefore, thirdly, we see God's wrath. In the face of rebellion, of sin, of the people of Sodom and Gomorrah, but equally in the judgment of Lot's wife, as she fails to obey the Lord and looks back to Sodom. So patience or mercy grace and wrath all three exist in genesis 18 and 19 but equally we need to say all three exist for us today the delay we know in the promised uh, judgment coming is god's mercy to us he is being patient with us it is his desire that many are saved with that in mind in his grace he has provided for our rescue in the death and resurrection of his beloved son Jesus. We need therefore to hear the gospel and in repentance and faith where, where we do not look back we can know life, we can know hope of the gospel where we will know the life of God's kingdom beyond the judgment. But for those who refuse to hear God's grace, to acknowledge God's grace, to come under God's mercy and therefore who ignore the warnings of the judgment the day will come when they will stand before God in sin and as such will know the full wrath of God we need to hear the words of Isaiah 55 and verse 6 seek the Lord while he may be found call upon him while he is near 
while there is time in the day of God's patience in his mercy turn to the Lord and know his grace he has loved you and he has given his son for you praise God our hope is in him our life is in him and we need not fear let's pray Father, thank you for your promised word. Thank you, Lord, for the truth of your word. Thank you, Lord, that in your word we hear of your mercy and your grace to us. Help us, Lord, to acknowledge you. Help us, Lord, to follow you. And help us, Lord, to look to the day of your coming with the certainty that is ours because of Jesus, because of his righteousness and not our own. Lord, help us to live for him now and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.